You all know that James King died in 2020 due to a disease. But when you hear about the death of suffering, your eyes will begin to water. Despite having the last option of living in his life, he prefers death. I don't know what happened in today's video, but before that, it was another matter. Rene Byron, A Journey of Resilience and Courage Life often presents unexpected challenges, and Rene Byron was no stranger to adversity. Known for her appearance on the hit TLC show My 600 LB Life in 2018, Rene embarked on a life-changing weight loss journey. Her story captivated audiences as she worked to regain her health with the help of the renowned Dr. Yonan Nozaradan, a specialist in treating extreme obesity. What made Renee's story unique was her past as a plus-size model. However, she later turned to a lifestyle that involved feeders, individuals willing to pay her to eat, which contributed to her weight gain. Yet, Renee's battle with obesity started long before that, as she had been diagnosed with the condition at the age of 11, a result of an eating disorder developed while coping with her father's abuse. Hashtag 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 a determined fight for health. As Renee's weight spiraled, her life became increasingly difficult. By the time she sought Dr. Now's help in Houston, Texas, she weighed a staggering 631 pounds. Determined to turn her life around, she set her sights on gastric bypass surgery, a procedure that alters the digestive system to promote weight loss. Renee's positive spirit and connection with her fanbase made her a beloved figure. She frequently shared encouraging messages with her followers on Facebook, offering insight into her journey and strength. Over time, Renee managed to shed 250 pounds and was finally deemed fit for the surgery that could change her life. Hashtag 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 a new challenge, Guillain-Barre syndrome. Just when it seemed like Renee was making strides toward better health, she was faced with a new and devastating hurdle. In 2019, she was diagnosed with Guillain-Barre syndrome, a rare autoimmune disorder that affects the nerves, causing weakness and discomfort throughout the body. Despite the diagnosis, Renee remained optimistic. She moved into a nursing home later that year, a decision she had initially resisted but later embraced after receiving excellent care. Reflecting on her experience, she shared, had I known I would get such good care, would have come much sooner. Hashtag 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 Renee Byron's Legacy Tragically, Renee Byron passed away on May 14, 2021, in Athens, Tennessee, at the age of 56. While the exact cause of her death remains unknown, her weight and her battle with Guillain-Barre syndrome likely played a role. Renee's obituary revealed more about her life, showing that she was not only a fighter but also a devoted mother and grandmother. She was survived by seven children, Lanika Carlock, Brent Ney Bradson, Demetrius Bradson, Monique Bradley, Aaron Johnson, Portia Wilson, and Travis Young, and 28 grandchildren. Described as a confident and youthful soul, Renee Byron left a lasting impact on those who followed her journey. Her story of perseverance and strength continues to inspire many. Abi Ruiz's inspiring journey on my 600 LB life. Abi Ruiz's weight loss journey on my 600 LB life was unlike most seen on the show. The Puerto Rican man's struggle with obesity was not by choice but due to a tragic accident that left him paralyzed. In his first scene, Abi shared that he had been thin most of his life. It wasn't until his late teens, while studying sound engineering and pursuing love, that he began gaining weight. Abi's life took a dramatic turn when, just a day before he planned to propose to his girlfriend Brenda, he was involved in an accident that left him paralyzed. Despite this life-altering event, Brenda remained by his side, and the two married shortly after. For years, Abi was confined to his bed, unable to move his legs and relying on Brenda and his sister Miriam for support. Though he could move his arms, his paralysis meant he had to work from bed and faced mounting health issues due to his weight. Hashtag 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 a unique weight loss challenge. Abi's story on my 600 LB Life Season 12 presented Drive Nozaradan with a unique challenge. Because Abi couldn't weigh himself or move, 
Dr. Now had to visit him at home to develop a customized plan. The program included a low-carb diet and weekly physiotherapy sessions, aiming to help Abi shed pounds from home. Despite the limitations of his condition, Abi remained determined. At one point, Abi became discouraged because he had no way of tracking his progress. Without a sense of how much weight he was losing, it became difficult for him to stay motivated. However, his desire to live a normal life with Brenda kept him from giving up. After three months of working on his diet and therapy, Dr. Now decided it was time for Abi to take the next step and visit the clinic. Abi, who initially struggled to move, was transported to the hospital with the help of a team. The care he received, along with his dedication, led to significant weight loss, alleviating some of his health issues. Hashtag 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 Abi's life-changing weight loss surgery. By the time Abi was cleared for weight loss surgery, he had already lost hundreds of pounds. He started at 728 pounds and eventually dropped nearly 300 pounds, an incredible feat for someone in his condition. After the surgery, Abi's progress continued, and he reached 403 pounds. Dr. Anau congratulated him for his dedication and introduced an orthopedic specialist, who outlined the next step, reaching 350 pounds to qualify for hip surgery, which would allow him to regain mobility. Hashtag 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 life after my 600 LB life. Since appearing on the show, Abi has continued to share updates on his life and fitness journey. In April 2024, he posted a video on social media, where he looked leaner and healthier. He was still in bed but was able to move himself into a wheelchair. Abi also shared clips of himself working out and even doing a little bit of boxing, showing his determination to stay active. In August 2024, Abi introduced a new addition to his life, a kitten. The adorable pet brought him joy, and he affectionately asked his Facebook followers to help him name it. One fan suggested, Diamond, since the kitten was such a gem. However, Abi later discovered that the kitten was male and ultimately named him Nacho. Abi's love for his new fur baby reflects his positive outlook, despite the many challenges he faces. Hashtag 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 a heartwarming development. Abi's journey has captured the hearts of fans, who regularly show him love and support. Unlike some controversial figures on the show, Abi's bright personality and resilience have earned him admiration. In late August, he shared a particularly heartwarming update, for the first time in a long while, he was able to enjoy a proper date night with his wife, Brenda. This moment of happiness marked a significant milestone in his journey toward reclaiming his life. Though Abi's episode ended before viewers saw him undergo hip surgery, his story concluded on a hopeful note. He had lost a significant amount of weight, regained confidence, and was working closely with his physiotherapist to further improve his mobility. Abi's goal remains clear, to live a healthy, independent life with his wife and leave his bed for good.